Hey guys, so we are going back to Beyond the Stripes again today. And if you can see out my window, you can tell it, it snowed. It's freezing cold, but we're braving the elements as the guest tonight is cornerback for the Bengals, uh, Leon Hall, one of the veteran defenders on the team, product out of Michigan. And he's just been a really good asset for the defense for the Bengals over the years. And uh, I didn't get his autograph at training camp, so we're heading back down to Beyond the Stripes so I can get him to sign this football that I have with tons of Bengals autographs on there. I got AJ Green, Andy Dalton, Andrew Whitworth, Marcus Hunt, Marvin Lewis even signed it, got a ton of autographs on it. And hopefully Leon Hall will add his signature to it. So pretty empty, but the crowd might not be as big because of the weather. And because I guess it's Leon Hall and not Hickey Woods, but I don't know, make it packed. The More Lion Logger House also pays a nice tribute to Pete Rose. You can see by this picture here of when he broke uh, Ty Cobb's hit record and one more recently. And down here we have, you know, we have first base at the Old Riverfront Stadium. Uh, it was the home of the Reds, so I might see there, 1970 to 2002. That was actually the first Reds stadium that I went to as a kid before they tore it down and built the Great American Ballpark. And not only did the Reds play there, but the Bengals played there before Paul Brown Stadium was built. Leon Hall has arrived. Going into the playoffs, did, did, did your view change, Lindsay? You know, I feel like kind of like what Doc said. This is like ghost town. town. Um, he said it a couple of weeks ago. We don't bet on it. We don't know what you're gonna get with any team. So we will. Uh, we're we, we're obviously not that we're just getting started. We will shove out here in a little bit, and uh, we're gonna bring our guest Leon Hall's gonna come up here on the desk in a second. So we're gonna be excited to bring him. Uh, 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 much more here with the by Joseph Leon's getting ready for his Beyond the Stripe appearance. As well as one selection of the Get his autograph by the end of the night. Welcome back to Beyond the Stripe, sent by Joseph Otto.com. We are still here live at the Moorline Lotter House. A bunch of other people have come out to see us tonight. Everybody, if you could please welcome Leon Hall to the desk. Leon La Starza Lafayette Lorenzo Hall. <laughs> Explain that name for me, please. Name by name. Okay. Uh, all right. So my father's name was Leon La Starza Hall. So that's where that came from. Uh, and then the other two were his brothers. And I was the the youngest child, and I'm the only boy. So I figured. You know, they did it wrong a few times earlier. <laughs> so they finally got it right. They figured they might as well throw everything out there and give them a whole bunch of names. How, how do you sign official documents? Oh, I just signed Hale Hall, actually. I tried to keep it simple. But on my driver's license, it's like two lines long, which is insane. But well, When your mom would call you in for dinner, did she use your full name? We are the start of love here at the rental hall. Only if I was in trouble. Which, I mean, you gotta take like two breaths to be able to say that all at once. <laughs> she was just used to it. Sometimes she was short and say one of my middle names. She said one of my middle names, then I knew it was probably so bad. Well, you were in trouble. So, you, didn't, you didn't play much football until you were a sophomore in high school, is that right? You were a baseball uh, player? Right. I played my freshman year in football, but I, I wasn't very good. I made uh, the B team, is what we call it. It was like they can't cut anybody. So. And make a B team when you play after the game's over. Yeah, you go and get a get an yeah, ice cream or something. I was one of those guys. Yeah, you're one of those. You just play for the ice cream. All right. Now Andre Smith, who was in this seat a few weeks ago, likes to think that he's a sharp dressed man, but I, I seem to recall, correct me if I'm wrong, that you were in a spread on GQ or something several years ago. Am I right? Got a 
long wait. So we just got back from Beyond the Stripes not too long ago. And I was going to film the last segment of this video as I was walking back to my car, but when we were at Beyond the Stripes, the temperature dropped like a rock, and it got even colder out. So I was wearing my gloves, so holding the camera would have been pretty difficult. And filming in cold weather just sucks, so I decided to wait until I got back into my nice warm room to film this last segment. And as I said earlier, I wanted to try to get Leon Hall's autograph on my football that I've been collecting signatures on uh, since training camp. And he was gracious enough to sign the football for me. Uh, I can see all the other signatures I got on here. But Leon Halls is right there. Uh, you can see the L Hall and 29. 29 is his number, and L Hall obviously stands for Leon Hall. So thank you for signing this, Leon. I really appreciate it. And you might have noticed that the crowd was not really big. And if you saw the Getting Tricky with Icky video, that crowd was huge. And my guess uh, for the low turnout tonight is because, first of all, it was really cold. And plus, Leon Hall, well, he's a great defensive player for the Bengals. Uh, he's not as famous as Icky Woods. Uh, Icky Woods has that Geico commercial right now. Plus, uh, with the Icky Shuffle, he was one of the more popular players from the 1988 uh, Super Bowl Bengal team. But Leon Hall... Really quiet, really reserved, but a class act all the way. And he was just a nice guy. And the answers he gave for the questions they were asking him were pretty funny. And it was a lot of fun to go to Beyond the Stripes tonight. And stay tuned to uh, Cincy Fan Zone because I will be uploading pictures from the event tonight that I took uh, onto the photo page on cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. And I asked the guy who picked me to do the Icky Woods competition in the Getting Tricky with Icky video. Uh, if you didn't see that, I was picked to do an Icky Wood or an Icky Shuffle competition where the winner got an Icky Woods T-shirt, and I t I ended up winning. And I told you guys I'd unbox that uh, for you whenever it came, but it still hasn't come. So I asked the guy about it, and he took my information down. He said he's gonna look into it for me. So whenever it comes, I will be unboxing it for you guys. So. Keep it tuned right here to Cincy Fan Zone for the unboxing of that as well. And as always, thanks for watching.